it is here. All right. Coffee time and chat and unbox. Ah, uh, it's good coffee. It is here. My new Vitamix. My new reconditioned Vitamix. So I got this on the sale. There was a 48 hour sale. Uh, and it is going to replace my current daily driver, which is my 7500. Now the 7500 is a classic Vitamix, meaning it doesn't have any of the uh, Bluetooth or anything like that. Um, and I need a smart system, the smart style blender for the food processor that I'm going to do a review on. Now I do have the A3500, but uh, that's more of a toy. I need something that I can use every single day. So I went and got me uh, another Vitamix. Now this is certified reconditioned. You're going to get a brown box with it. You're not going to get the pictured box, but uh, you know, hey, that's, uh, that's the name of the game. And uh, you know, when you do certified reconditioning, you're saving yourself a lot of money. And I got this, um, I got this Vitamix for about three hundred dollars. It was like two two ninety nine or something like that. It was a really really good sale, a real steal. So, open it in a box and have a simply blending cookbook. This is basically the first thing you look at. You get the instruction manual and you look in the cookbook. First things, if you've never done Vitamixing before, the, this is where you have to look first. But this is unboxing, not exactly a review. Uh, here's a little start here book. Alrighty. Now I don't have the Simply Blending cookbook, so this is another, uh, another addition to my cookbook collection. And let's see, I'm trying to get in here. There's a few other tidbits in here. Ah, here we go. Now, this should be the first clue as to which one it is. But well, let's just keep going. This little box here, this is probably a little care for that cup. Alrighty. Next here, 64 ounce low profile wide container. And uh, when you get a certified recondition, normally you get a brand new container, brand new lid, brand new everything. The blade is uh, either or. Now, if the the blade assembly was a uh, uh, in good condition, what they do is they they do a specialized cleaning of it and sterilization, all that kind of stuff, and then they they put it into the the new plastic container. So. Uh, and other times, if it's uh, in a condition that doesn't meet their standards, they just put a whole new blade assembly, which pretty much they give you a whole new container. So, uh, I can't really tell the difference if it's been used before or new. Can't really tell. That's the thing about uh, certified reconditioned Vitamix. They do such a good job of doing these, uh, these freshen ups that often you can't even tell. Like sometimes I just think I have a brand new machine. So here's a blade base, and that's gonna go with this cup. And I have more stuff here. The lid for the cup. Ah! Stay there. Unboxing even more. Ah, here's the tamper. This is the new style tamper. It's uh it's a total redesign. I like this style tamper. It's the, I think the S2 tamper, whatever they want to call it. But uh, you can get in the, uh, the sides a little bit better. And it, it has a, a more sturdy construction, better grip. Uh, there are a lot of improvements on this tamper as opposed to the uh, previous generation uh, tamper. So this is, a, this is a nice tool. I like it. But I use the old one anyway because I have it. And until that one breaks or whatever, then I'll use this one. But other than that, so far so good. More cardboard, and now we're down to the motor base. Here we go. Certified recondition motor base. Let me put this here. Put this over here. 
and this feels actually lighter weight for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But here it is. This is a. Uh, I've had certified reconditioned machines before, so I've, I'm kind of. This isn't usually how they have received packaged reconditioned machines, so maybe this is. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they changed up the procedures. I don't know. On how they do things at Vitamix. Because I, I don't remember getting a bag. I usually, when I would get a uh, machine, it would it would pretty much just be boxed. But maybe this is because of the Ascent series. I don't know. All right. So now we have the Venturist V1200. And this is going to be my new daily driver. It's going to replace my... 7500 here. Now, just doing that, I can definitely tell that this machine weighs significantly less than this machine. The 7500 has more weight to it. I don't I don't know why it's the construction of it, but that's just something I noticed. Does it really make a difference in in the grand scheme of things? Probably not. I don't really care. Anyway, so why did I pick the Venturist? Uh, other than the fact that, um, you know, I needed the Bluetooth for the food processor review and all that kind of stuff and all the little Bluetooth and all that. I like the fact that it comes with a cup. This is the really the best package. If you don't have a Vitamix, the best package is Venturist. Comes with a cup so you can do the personal blending and since it has a blade base, you can just buy the uh, blending bowls, and those don't cost that much. And you have the programmable timer. Now, are there are other set models that do have programmable uh, things on it, like the, the, the 3300, I think, has the uh, programmable timer, and the 3500. But the 2300 and the 2500 don't have programmable timers. They have timers on them that, that show you... Uh, the time remaining in a program or uh, when you use it they'll count up but you can't actually adjust to make it let, let's say if I want to make a 30 second blend I can't just uh, you know program it and it'll count down and stop automatically the Venturist does so that's actually a, a one up on the uh, 2300 and 2500 uh, Programs, I don't care about programs. I have the A3500. I don't use really programs. But if I need to use a program, I use the app 90% of the time. If you've seen my channel, I use the app, the Vitamix scale, all that stuff. So I can just beam it right to the uh, right to the Venturist and it will run the program. No big deal to me. Another thing why I like the Venturist is I like switches and dials. I have the 3500 and I like the infinity dial and the little touch buttons and all that, but nothing, when I, I'm just old school, when I first started Vitamix and I had the 5200 and I still have it, and I'm just used to the switches and dials. So having switches and dials here is a better deal. Now, another thing about having the infinity dial as opposed to a dial on, on, a, on a traditional Vitamix is Infinity dial, you don't know where the position is. You have to actually look at the machine to know what speed you're on. So if I want to set it to speed 5, I have to look at the, the machine. Here, I don't need to look at anything. I can just feel where the speed is, and I know that I'm at 5. I don't have to look at it. If I go here, I know about 6 or 7, 7 or 8 probably. Yep, 7 and 8. I'm right there. I don't have to look at the machine to know what I'm doing. So that's why I like the physical dial, uh, as opposed to the infinity dial on 3300 and 3500 cents. So yeah, this is uh, the machine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run it with water and soap, which both cleans the container, which actually I, I'm probably just going to put this one away because I have, uh, I'm going to be using a 48 ounce that I've been using on the 7500 also works here because I bought the Bluetooth version. 
of that. So I'm just going to store this away. I don't really use a 64 ounce at all. And I have another one anyways. So that's going to be put away. But uh, I will run a cycle, a wash cycle on this just to break in the motor. I don't know if they have a used motor in here or if they replace the motor. I don't know what they do with the sort of high recondition. So that is, I just go ahead and do a, a wash cycle anyway and breaks in the motor if it needs to. And so let's, why don't we just plug it in and see what, what we got here. This is not a full review, this is just an unboxing. A little coffee time and chat, just kind of explain what I'm doing. But yeah, I get to use the food processor now on a daily basis without having to uh, pull out the A3500 or anything like that. Let's see if I can kind of reach a plug here. Maybe I can plug this one in. Alright, A3500, uh, the V1200, sorry, uh, also has the on off switch on the side. Pretty good. Alrighty, we have everything here. Let me get uh, something here. There we go. This is the 48 ounce I've been using on the 7500. So let's go ahead and do that there we go we are detected see this is why I like the Venturist is that I can have the timer program so I can run it there we go or just run it and it'll count up Pulse. There we go. It's good. It works. Nice. And so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, swap it out and then I'll do a full review on it in the, in the future video. And I'm going to also do the food processor video. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed my little unboxing here. Oh, that's good. And like I said, it's the best package. If you never had, if you don't own a Vitamix and you really want a Vitamix, this is the best package to have. Vitamix is going to be coming out with all these accessories for Bluetooth technology, hence food processor. So if you don't have Vitamix, get one. Uh, if you don't really care about all that other stuff, you just want to do simple blending and, and whatnot, you know, just go ahead and get an E310 if you want to really pinch pennies. Get a get an E310 with a personal cup adapter and you'll have basically all these capabilities anyway. But, uh, definitely if you can catch a Vitamix sale like the one I just got. Like I said, I got this for $2.99 certified recondition. And it's going to be definitely the machine to have. Alright, so that's it. Coffee time to chat over. My rambling on is over and I can't wait to get started with it. So I hope you enjoy everything I've been doing, all of my videos. It's going to be so much more coming. The Maxi 4000 is going to be doing more work. The S50 is going to be doing more work. And say goodbye to the 7500. I'm going to put it away and maybe use it as a gift or I don't know. Eh, might just be put away in my uh, cupboard next to my 3500 and 5200. So, enjoy the day. Bye.